Hey there, YouTube friends, countrymen, countrywomen, and everybody in between. Got another tool haul video for you, so stay tuned. First things first, this is Dunkin' Donuts coffee in this fancy snap-on tumbler. Is that what this thing's called? I don't know. Anyway, you already know, okay? Uh, let's get some of the uh, I guess more mundane stuff out out of the way to begin with now I've seen these I've seen these funnel kits on like Mac tools. I think uh, probably snap on I don't think they brand it It's a different brand or whatever, but you can get them off the tool truck, but uh, OEM tools Puts together this you know this master funnel kit here um, It's got the different adapters, uh, you know for for oil changes and What's cool about this kit is it's identical to the other one the ones you've seen um, but it actually comes with like a, you know, like a catch tray. And then if you can see it, oh, a second. There. Anyway, there, <laughs> it comes with this, which you can put on the wall, uh, to organize everything. So I, we bought one of these for the shop and, uh, uh, cheaper, literally cheaper than the tool truck and comes with all this extra stuff. One of the things I've noticed it comes with that the tool truck sets don't, um, is this adapter right here? It's pretty cool. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. You know, it's got your uh, GM, you looked at that one already. Uh, Toyota Lexus, Chrysler, uh, Honda, let's see. Ah, and um, Ford Mazda. I think that's it. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like it. And in addition to that, you got these two adapters. And it comes with all your uh, your mounting hardware and also your your hanging studs for you know supporting the uh, the catch pan underneath. So yeah, pretty cool thing to install somewhere next to your toolbox or shop. And again, that's OEM Tools version of this kind of ubiquitous no spill funnel kit. And there is the part number. You can find it on AutoZone.com. And right now they actually have a 20% coupon for if you buy over $100 worth of stuff, it ships for free and you get 20% off. So I think this ended up costing me 63 bucks. Can't beat that. We've seen some of the other prices out there. And to get over $100, I saw this. Uh, my coworker has one branded Motive Tools and I just thought it was freaking cool. Um, basically it's your universal funnel. So you just squeeze that and you put this, you know, in the reservoir and it, it goes to like the right, right tension or the right height. You can take this off and use it just the funnel or just these with a different funnel if you wanted to. Um, so it's pretty adaptive, pretty neat. This was like, originally I think it was like 28 bucks. I'm not sure on, uh, on AutoZone, from AutoZone and again, 20% off. So low twenties really can't beat that. Pretty cool. I think there's a one year warranty on both of these, which is pretty standard for these sets even off of the trucks. Okay, well, um, I've been upgrading a lot of my tools lately over the last several months, and uh, a few of the things I wanted to do was, was you know, upgrade some of our, some of my specialty tools that we use in auto repair. I uh, just wanted better quality stuff. Like I had a gear wrench set of the uh, compression gauges, uh, the compression gauge with, I didn't actually own any of the adapters myself. So um, I wanted to upgrade to the snap-on. I just, I looked at a bunch of different compression gauges, and this one, just uh, caught my, you know, caught my attention. And I wanted a nice one. I've wanted a nice one for a while. So I picked this up. There's the part number. Yeah, so here's a better look at it. And what's cool is the, the uh, this part just slides out. And there you have it. it comes with uh, three adapters by, by, by no means a comprehensive kit. Uh, as my coworker and Joe's been in the industry for 30 plus years, and uh, he told me that back in the day, he used to be able to buy a kit that had like every adapter. And then they got wise and decided to start selling partial kits and then sell the, the rest of the adapters individually. So anyway, I looked around and I couldn't, I didn't find any kit that was complete that, you know, was a higher level, that, that kind of met the level of quality I was looking for. So, you know, I went with this one, leave some space where I can add some additional adapters to it, keep it all in one kit. Yeah, so next up is the uh, snap-on cooling system pressure test set. 
There's the part number right there. Now, the reason I went with Snap-on was a couple of reasons. Uh, we do have an older um, OEM set that still works, OEM tool set that in the shop that works fine. Um, I've wanted my own, uh, you know, personal one for a while, and I wanted a nice one. So this Snap-on, I ended up getting a really good deal on, uh, and it has the, uh, you know, it has the style that I prefer um, in, in terms of your cooling system adapters. In fact, we've got a master adapter set coming. It's branded Proto. That'll be in a future tool, tool haul video. Got a killer deal on that. It actually comes with one of these, but you know, I kind of wanted my own as well. That'll be a shop tool. So that's what the uh, Snap-on gauge looks like. It comes with a couple adapters, you know, and a couple, uh, couple of, uh, of your connectors there. All right, next up, I uh, just bought a cooling system refiller. Uh, I didn't own my own. Uh, my coworker again has one. And I picked this up used off of eBay. It wasn't very expensive. Uh, now what happened during shipping is the gauge actually got damaged somehow. And so the, uh, the seller offered to replace the gauge. So I've actually got a brand new gauge coming. I was able to find that off of eBay as well, but it's the, the correct Maco gauge for this. Uh, so that should be showing up on Monday. But yeah, I just wanted to get my own. Uh, now we got two in the shop. So that's that. Oh, and by the way, um, if you haven't used one of these things, like I definitely rec recommend uh, looking into it. There's uh, several videos on YouTube that, you know, goes over, um, you know, how these things work and how they're used. And once you, you know, once you get the hang of it or once you start using it, it's, it's just so convenient. Uh, it's totally worth uh, the investment. All right, this next one might look real familiar to you guys who follow CP the Tool Addict. And if you don't follow CP the Tool Addict, what's wrong with you? And how the heck did you find my channel? Anyway, check this out. <laughs> yeah, it's basically, you know, you got your seal driver kit, the same one he featured. Um, in his last video, he mentioned kind of what I was thinking. Uh, could you just get this thing and skip uh, you know, the snap on, uh, discs. And unfortunately you can't because apparently they made the diameter of these so that they only fit this and you can't use this with other discs, but you know, it's, it's all right. I mean, this, this kit honestly was not ridiculously expensive and, uh, snap on does offer a full range of discs and the discs themselves are not ridiculously expensive either. So, you know, good to have a quality set lifetime warranty. You can use these not just for seals. You can use them for all kinds of things. And the handle is honestly pretty amazing if you've ever used the other style it's <laughs> it's like night and day it's, it's one of those it's, it's one of those comfort of life investments that are worth making part number and that guy right there all right well if you made it this far i got some hand tools for you so first up picked up this uh stubby hex security bit set covers metric and sae I've really kind of gotten into these stubby bits and uh, over this past tool haul, I think I've pretty much gotten to the point where I own all of them. <laughs> so there you go. These are branded Blue Point, by the way. I don't have the part number handy, but if you Google <laughs> or search Blue Point uh, Tamper Proof Hex or Blue Point Stubby Hex, you'll see these will pop up. All right, so next up, this is from Vim Tools. Honestly, I'd, I'd, seen, I'd seen this before and I tried numerous times to buy this off of like different sites and they could never seem to produce it. So eventually I just went straight to, to Vim Tools and bought it off them. I don't know if it's just not popular or what the story is. Um, I mean, it's got a lifetime warranty, so I've never had an issue warranting any with, anything with Vim Tools. So I'm assuming these are still available. But basically you've got your T8 through T30 stubby security torques. And then these are actually stubby torques, but they're in larger sizes. Um, contrary to the blue point set actually goes up to T50, should be right there. These three are three eighths in this set. They're quarter inch in the blue point set. It's the only other place I found secure. I found stubby security torques. Um, and by the way, the, the main thing I liked about the set was uh, you've got the, uh, you know, the long, uh, I think these are four inches long. You've got basically your long um, Torx bit sockets, and it goes from T8 to T50. 
And the part number of this is HCTSD. And again, you can get this off of VimTools website itself, which is just vimtools.com. Um, and that's the only place I found this. Again, I tried to order it off of a couple other sites it showed up on and they canceled my order, said it wasn't in stock. So you want that? Go to Vim, go straight to Vim. Okay, so the next up, uh, I got a shout out to Mr. Subaru. I think he first made me aware of this, but Hazette has come out with quick release or locking ratchets in their popular new 90 tooth lineup, their, their hyper ratchets. And I've already got the, uh, the bit driver that matches this. Actually, let me pull that out. It's super cool. Yeah, this right here, um, I've had this for a little while, but this is my favorite bit driver. I love this thing. You know, it's pretty thin profile, but I mean, basically it's just their quarter inch body, but they did a really good job of not adding any, you know, any prof any uh, width to it. So it still fits in tight places, um, you know, and secures, and man, does this thing hold bits? It will not lose a bit. In fact, it's a good thing there's a little hole in the back because oftentimes I'll have to just give it a little tap to get the bit out. <laughs> Phenomenal, phenomenal uh, bit driver. In fact, it's a great complement to that snap-on that you saw um, from a couple videos ago, because that thing has some length. So if I need to put just a little bit of torque on it, you know, I can go with that, plus that's a flex head. Um, so yeah, uh, dynamic duo. The only thing that I miss sometimes uh, with this is um, being able to like finger turn. You know, like some of the bit ratchets, you have that little that little thumb wheel you can finger turn with it. And so there's, there's occasions where that you know, comes in handy and this doesn't offer that, but, it, but for, I'd say 90% of bit driving work, I really love this little guy. And so I wanted to kind of pick up the, uh, the quarter inch cause yeah, it's just, it's just a nice length and also having the locking feature, you know, um, if you're in a situation where you're going to lose, where you think you might lose your socket or whatever, this will prevent that. Or you could even put those, those half cut stubby bits on there and get the same result. So that's that, and uh, there's the, let's see, there's the part number right there, 863 HPS. And I got this from Hand Tools from Germany, um, and uh, you could also get it from KC Tool. Uh, there's a few different options out there. I will put the link in the description to where, uh, to Hand Tools from Germany, um, where I actually bought this. All right, next up, this is kind of an impulse buy. Uh, I saw these on the Mack truck. I guess they were part of a recent, um, you know, promotion where you got a bunch of stuff together. I, um, my Mack dealer didn't sell them all. He broke up the sets and this was laying there and I thought, eh, it's kind of cool. Um, you know, just your basic hose clamp pliers. Uh, these are a little wider than the other ones that I own. Like I did a review on a gear wrench set, which is really a utility plier. It's not for specifically for hose clamps. It doesn't handle your, your clamp in this direction. Um, was, that's one of the things I liked about this was uh, just how deep you are there. So you can actually grab, you know, some of those larger crank clamp, clamps with the, uh, like the two separate prongs and then the one prong going in the opposite direction. You can grab all of them if you come in this way. And so, yeah, it looked kind of handy. Um, oddly enough, you know, I was, oh, <laughs> this is going to get me down a, a, another another topic here, but this says it has a one-year warranty on the on the website. Um, I believe according to my dealer, he said a lifetime warranty. He could be mistaken or that just might be his policy. And I wanted to mention something uh, before we move on. It's not, I wouldn't say it's a retraction, but it's just something to be aware of. So give me a second here. Now my dealer told me all this stuff was lifetime warranty. Uh, this thing, I think it may actually say lifetime warranty on the site. These on the Mac Tools website, it took some, took some digging because it's hard to find the individual, you know, part listings on the site. In fact, I'm not even sure if these are listed individually, even though they do have part numbers. But according to the website, these have a one year warranty. So either my, uh, you know, my Mac tools dealer was mistaken, or maybe that's his policy, um, or the website's wrong, or he thinks I'm gonna die in less than a year. Um, <laughs> regardless, uh, I, would, I would check with your Mac dealer um, before you assume any of this stuff same goes for this, is lifetime warranty. Um, my Mac dealer said it was, so I'm gonna hold him to that. But uh, you know, your, your experience may vary, so verify that first with your Mac dealer. All right, next up, and this thing I'm gonna admit, I just thought the case was so cute. <laughs> and these were not expensive. But I got these from Chad's Toolbox. 
So it's basically just your extractor set. Um, these are Hazette made in Germany. I'm not sure how many companies offer made in Germany uh, screw extractors. There you go. And again, they come in this nice little kit. There's the part number. And I got this from Chad's Toolbox. By the way, Chad's Toolbox is this, this guy. He uh, actually sources for um, vendors of German tools, uh, you know, in the US and I think in Canada. And you can also buy from him directly. And just a really cool dude. So uh, check out Chad's Toolbox. I'll include a link in the description to his website. Next up, another Hazette tool from Chad's Toolbox. Part number 6661. Whoa, <laughs> watch out for this guy. You might need a, uh, you know, you might need a priest to have one of these in your toolbox, but it's probably totally worth it. Totally, if you lose your soul, when you use this, like, you'll feel like it's, you know, it's probably borderline worth it. All right, anyway, I'm just kidding. Don't sell your soul, kids. Anyway, there's the, uh, there's the end for, you know, for your valve stem, your tire valve stem, and there's the end to, like, depress, you know, depress it. Uh, just a nice little comfortable tool. I like the, f the feel of it made in Germany. I thought it was cool. It wasn't very expensive, so I grabbed it. And next up, you probably, if you go to, Amazon free to look for tools. You've probably seen one of these. It's a Schroeder, also made in Germany. Uh, what it is it? It's a ratcheting tap wrench. This covers its smallest sizes. I forget what the sizes actually are. Let's see if we can find a part number on here. Can you read that? It looks like 40060. Uh, anyway, the way it works is you come over here, flip that, and you're ratcheting. And you flip it again and you're ratcheting, and you flip it to the center, and you're adjusting. So, pretty nice little tool. Uh, feels really well made. You know, nice chrome job on it. And this was this was like $16 off of Chad's Toolbox. Currently having a sale on it. Sale on these, these Schroeders. Yeah, so we'll see how that one works. I had a bigger Starrett. And of course, I've got the tap sockets, the ubiquitous tap sockets made by Lyle. All right, next up, there's actually two of these. The other one uh, has gone back into my uh, into the case it belongs in. But um, first experience, I think it's my first first I recall warrantying something directly with Milwaukee. So um, I bought their holdozer kit uh, from Home Depot like three or four years ago, and I broke the teeth on it. And I recalled that they actually the teeth of the Milwaukee holdozers carry a lifetime warranty. So I called up Milwaukee directly and they were easy to deal with. Um, it took a little while to get here, maybe, you know, three weeks or so. And they sent me two of these. I guess they just assume it's, if I broke it once, I'll probably broke it again. I'll break, break it again and they'll save on shipping. But yeah, my warranty process with Milwaukee, at least on this hand tool or, uh, well, you know, power tool, whole saw <laughs> was, was seamless. You know, maybe it's different with a power, the power tools are a little more involved. I can understand that. That's not an expensive item, but yeah, really smooth experience with Milwaukee on that, on that one. All right. So next up, uh, it's a specialty tool. Got it from Vim. They had it basically deeply discounted. It's not something you're going to need every day. I mean, it's, it's just your basic triple square, but it's specifically for, um, BMW e-brake connections, uh, e-brake, uh, cables, e-brake cables. And um, so it's, a, I think it's a nine, it's a, your triple square nine. Um, anyway, I just assumed, hey, if we need one, this was deeply discounted off of the Vim website. So I'll put it in my box and if we need it, we need it. And if not, you know, no big deal. All right, next up was a uh, item I found at Harbor Freight. <laughs> this is actually a Quinn uh, extendable breaker bar. It's pretty much identical to the gear wrench and the Matco. It's the same darn thing goes from 20 to 33 inches. Let's see if I can get that in the camera. Oh, yeah. Anyway, works really nicely. Um, lifetime warranty, just solid construction. So I got this, I got this mainly, I'm gonna keep it in my Jeep. If I ever need it here, well, I drive my Jeep to work, so <laughs> it's here. But I'm gonna keep this in my Jeep next to that extendable, uh, you know, the extendable um, breaker bar that from Blue Point that you saw in an earlier video. So basically I'm covered for just about everything in my road kit. 
Oh, and this was uh, this was sixty bucks or fifty nine ninety nine at Harbor Freight. Again, I don't have the part number, but it is super easy to find. And I think I mentioned, I'm sure I did, lifetime warranty. All right, next up, this is just a tool for testing parasitic draws, and basically it puts another fuse between your, uh, you know, your live circuit and your multimeter. So. If there's a surge, if there's a power surge or anything, the fuse in here blows and your multimeter survives. So it's kind of a surge protector for your multimeter. I thought it was cool. It wasn't very expensive. There's the part number. I'm sure it's rebranded Lyle or something like that, but whatever. Got off the Mako truck and it was not expensive. All right, next up. These are uh, deeply discounted off the Vim website. Uh, maybe they're not going to be offering them much longer. Um, but basically, you got two pickup tools. These were $10 a piece. I've seen that my coworker has them branded Blue Point. I would assume Vim was the OEM for that. Uh, but what's really cool about these is uh, they feel pretty well made, uh, made in Taiwan. And um, this, from what I've been reading, like when you're talking about, you know, retracting a magnet or not having to deal with that magnet bumping into crap uh, when you're trying to retrieve something, this this right here is is going to prevent probably better than anything because uh, the Blue Point. Uh, pickup tools that you saw in the last video that I got. Um, they, they do have that anti-magnetic uh, ring that goes around them, but basically if that thing gets knocked or whatever, you're dealing with the same issue. But this you actually have control over when the, when the magnet is exposed. You squeeze this right here, and boom, there's your magnet. And on this one, it's just basically the same thing, but you got, but you have, uh, you know, your claw. So, same theory. Anyway, super cheap off the Vim Tools website. They're in the clearance section. Let's flip this over. Get you a part number there. There's your part number. And there's your part number. Okay, we got a third tool off the uh, Chad's Toolbox website. This is your Hazette 2130 made in Germany. I guess even the wood. <laughs> uh, made in Germany, you know, you're your basic brush really nice really good quality seven bucks off of chad's toolbox happy with that okie doke so what we got here uh i don't really know how well these are going to work but they i had looked at them for a little while on amazon they're um so what they are is basically you know high temperature resistant plugs and caps you know for you can, your brake lines your fuel lines whatever um so i got an assortment here They're, the color coding uh, denotes different sizes, but basically, you know, you just jam, you jam these things in the hose or the line, and you slip these, and you slip these over top. So I haven't used them yet. We'll see how they work, but kind of figured I'd give them a try. All right, I gotta be honest. I'm not sure why I haven't seen this on YouTube yet. Uh, Snap-on basically redesigned their 3.8s. Uh, I guess the, the MG325 technically wasn't a stubby impact, but it was a low-profile one. And they've basically come out with this stubby air impact wrench. Uh, the PT338, they call it the Super Duty, on the website at least. And here's something that's a little bit odd. On the packaging... Let's see, where is it? I know there's, oh, right here. So strangely, it says 350 foot pounds of working torque. If you go to the website, like I said, it calls it a super duty and uh, it says that the working torque is 500 foot pounds. So go figure. But basically you got your stubby impact and you've got the boot, comes with the boot. Uh, one thing I really like about it is it's got the, you just got your uh, toggle He's got your toggle switch right there, kind of like a, you know, like an, like a uh, battery powered. Anyway, fresh in, haven't even taken it out of the bag. But basically, that's what you're looking at. It's about that big. Let's compare this to the Hazette. Give me a second. All right, now keep in mind the Hazette is a uh, half inch and it puts out 850 foot-pounds of breakaway torque. I think 500 something of working. 
So maybe they're comparable in terms of the actual working torque they put out. Yeah, as you can see, the Hazette actually is even more compact and stubby. than the snap-on. But I will say this, man, this has a really nice grip. The balance in your hand feels good. Um, I really like the design that Snap-on came up with here. So I'd say if you don't have the MG325, and I think that's, they're kind of a victim of their own competence, is that people love that MG325 and the, uh, what's the other one, 725 so much, that they see no reason to upgrade. All right, I've got a confession to make. I did not buy this off my Snap-on dealer. Um, so the retail price, and this may be why nobody's talking about it, but the retail price is like $4.99. He had it on sale for $4.40. Uh, there's no way in heck I was going to pay that much for, a, you know, an air impact. Like I said, I paid like $200 for the Hazette. Um, granted, that was kind of a, that was a unique sale for that tool. Um, they typically go for more. But yeah, I, uh, I wasn't going to buy it. And it turns out the Canadian government bought like a hundred of these for, I guess it's fleet mechanics or something. And they had a surplus and they actually put the surplus up for sale on eBay. They may have some left, but, um, I paid a lot less than four, four. Let me just say that I paid, I probably, I might've paid less than my snap on dealer actually pays to buy this. So yeah, I bought this off the Canadian government and you probably can too. All right. This last one isn't, this last one isn't a tool haul per se. It's a, it's a parts haul, uh, but it's a pretty cool story. And so I wanted to share it with you and also give a shout out to a, uh, a local business, although they'll probably never see this video and I'll tell you why in a moment. First off, can anybody actually guess what these things are? That's right. They're front fender supports for a 1994 Jeep Wrangler. That Jeep Wrangler, in fact. So the story is, I'm restoring my Jeep. Uh, I wanted to live, you know, for forever. And this is what we were looking at before. You know, by the way, these go like right under, under the, you know, from the fender to the frame. Just give you a little extra support. But uh, this is what we were looking at before. Uh, we had to weld this just so that we could create the right, I guess you could say blank. And I went to Whitehorse Machine, which I mentioned in an earlier video. Oh, by the way, check this out. This is pretty cool. There you see that? That's our motto, dare to be different. And what's holding that is brackets that were custom made by Whitehorse Machine, which is a, I think it's, I believe they're Amish. Amish owned and operated machine shop in Gap, Pennsylvania. So, when they got done that project, I had looked for replacement. For my own Jeep, I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of a fan of OEM. I'm not sure, you know, not sure exactly why that is, but uh, I mean, I, I have lifted it. You know, I've done some things that are not stock, but, you know, for certain things, I try to look for Mopar replacement parts. And regardless, um, just finding any of these anywhere uh, just seemed, it was, it was borderline impossible. I found one. Uh, you know, I found one of these on eBay and that sold just one. And for that, they wanted like 30 something dollars just for this. And I know you can make them yourself, but you know, I took this, basically took this to white horse machine and said, can please replicate this and, you know, and then mirror it for the other side. And they did. And this is, this is how they turned out. So there, it's a little bit different as you can see, you know, it's supposed to kind of be flush on one side, but, but they kind of, as you can see, they, they bent it more towards, yeah, it's kind of more towards the center a bit, but um, honestly, I don't think it's going to matter. Anyway, overall, I think they did a great job. And for both of these together, including the labor, the materials and everything, I think it was right around $50. So little shout out to White Horse Machine. It is kind of a follow up to, uh, something from my last tool haul. So I actually had a chance to use a couple of these Torx bits in here. And I gotta say, like, I'm really, really impressed with the snap-on bits. 
like I, I had to use a, a couple different styles of the same torque spit on a particular job um, in the middle of the week. And the snap-ons here, like literally every time, they actually stayed in the, you know, in the, in the Torx fastener and came, and came out of the, uh, I didn't use this one, it was a different brand, but um, they came out of the magnetic holder and stayed in the Torx fastener. So, I mean, you might want to look at a locking bit holder, but it, the, but the fit on these was just so perfect. And my other ones, you know, didn't do that. They came right back out. They all worked. Um, it wasn't a damaged fastener, and I've got some of those RBRTs, but I just, I really wanted to do a shout out for these bits in this particular kit. Man, do they fit precise. All righty, since we uh, talked about the uh, Milwaukee warranty experience, might as well talk about Vim Tools. So if you know, I just got this set in a recent tool haul. The 11 millimeter had a bunch of material in there that um, I figured if I ever wanted to be able to use the length of it, you know, um, for the bolt, stud or whatever you call it to kind of fit in there to get to a you know to get to a nut or something i mean i know this set's mostly for for bumpers you know for getting to the deep those deep nuts uh within uh you know within your uh your, your plastic bumpers but um i figured you know there might be other uses for it so anyway i decided eh, it was a defect whether it was an issue or not i was going to try out the warranty experience and it was absolutely fantastic uh both national tool warehouse and fim tools um you know kind of made me feel like like a vip uh they took care of it quickly they were they were incredibly enjoyable to to interact with i just i i, I gotta say i really love both of those companies um so here's the 11 millimeter replacement got it in less than a week and uh by the way if you're in the market for these you know you're doing a lot of doing body work doing a lot of bumpers or whatever um you might want to note that so we got the 8 10 11 12 14. this looks real familiar if you've got a Matco distributor, then you might want to check out the latest flyer and take a look at uh, the extra long socket set in there because it looks awfully similar to this. If I had to guess, I would say it's rebranded Vim Tools. So yeah, that's that. All right, that's our tool haul video for today. Hope you enjoyed it. We plan to bring you future tool haul videos on this channel along with future auto repair videos. We're also looking at desktop editing software to kind of step up our video quality game. I think you noticed my colleague Chris has a knack for making these types of videos. I just like to turn on the camera and talk. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you back in the future. Peace.